The road to justice for these University of Idaho students may look different because of how many eyes are on the case. It's now been over a month since four students were murdered. Local, national, and even international media outlets swarmed the small college town. Some are still there weeks later. This kind of high-profile engagement in a case can affect what happens if and when the killer is caught. Tonight at 6.30, our Esther Bauer is in studio with why. Well, guys, every investigator on this case feels the pressure to not only find the killer, but get a conviction. With so many people watching, it creates unique challenges for a case if and when it goes to trial. I've never seen a case that's really consumed public attention in the Northwest like this case. This crime scene's been under close watch since the students were killed because people are obsessed with what's happening in Moscow. I think that this case will take finding fair jurors to a new level because everyone's heard about it, everybody has an opinion. Finding unbiased jurors is one issue and finding a venue for the trial is another. Typically it would be within the state of Idaho, but where do you go? Twin Falls, Boise. Attorney Steve Graham says this case is taking the criminal justice system to a new level. This case will really, you know, test the court's ability to um, try a case under this environment. Um, yet what we have in Moscow is like a perfect storm of, you know, the social media and the, the internet sluice all trying to solve this and just, uh, just voracious. Uh, public consumption. The difference is this case, unlike those cases, we have no suspect. Jennifer Coffin-Daffer knows high profile cases well. She's a retired FBI agent, not involved at all in this investigation, but watching closely. Would you say the high profile nature of this case will complicate even being able to get justice? It could, I mean, any case that's high profile is much more difficult from an investigator standpoint. Because police are being watched at all times, internet sleuths are spreading misinformation, and the pressure to find the killer intensifies by the day. Still, the goal is justice, no matter what it takes to get there. And both of these experts compared this case to the Gabby Petito case. One big difference is that case never made it to trial. So everything we're talking about hinges on when the suspected killer is caught and whether they plead guilty or take a plea deal to avoid a trial. Reporting in studio tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.